and we are back live. All right, and send now. Okay, we're going to click on that. Hold up. Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the oh, help. Oh, good lord. It's this hard is... to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? Here we go. And we are officially back. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load back where we were just a few minutes ago. Right. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Oh. No, that's just a sign showing that there's a crank down there. So, operator is obviously intently tuning in to the uh, life letter right now. Okay, so we don't know which one of those. Wow! You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this I is Luke. I actually Luke. have the life letter well, muted. It's real nice oh, to it's, meet you they're both. in a Q&A section. My name is Luke. Um, so Boy, I'm just... Luke, you're so big, I, I bet you could swallow the whole town. Later. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh, but well, I can fit a lot of folks in my questions. mouth. That's how come <laughs> I'm It's not the so much that they're stupid. Some of the ones that you're um, dealing with are actually really good. Like, one of them was like, and shows and things you did, uh, right inside my mouth. Do the unsender of escape sundering. That sounds interesting. And Could we take a look? Actually really interesting well, the camera is closed right now, but sure. But take a look. I'd rather um, take a look at the uh, digest that'll come up later when people hey, this is neat. go through and write hey, them all out. Hey, look, it's a 10-gallon hat. Oh, boy! Oh. It's stuck in there pretty good! Yeah! I bet we need to floss it out. Come on, Luther! <laughs> Let's try this! We are seriously gonna floss a hat out. This is why we floss, kiddos. You don't get 10 gallon no hats stuck in our grill. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller Wait, why ones? is that whale's mouth decorated like a fancy banner? Because it's a cabaret. <laughs> Moink. The cake is a cake? lie. Here, try it. The cake, it's a lie. But no. it's chocolate. No, it's not. It's a lie. <laughs> we got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. Oh, joy, floss Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so let's head back. Let's head back to the ship. So uh, I now know how to get into the hideout. Because I now have the 10 gallon hat, which I know how to dye purple. So that's that. Let's see. Ah, I can fly swimming through there. Ah, 
There's my fifth oh, sea urchin. Boy! Good. Now I can buy both of those items. Another purple sea urchin. You think they just grew here or something? Well, sir, they do just grow here. Really? Wow. Really? Uh. Uh, 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 Bless you. Wow. Man, I've heard of the cinnamon challenge, but I've never heard of the pepper challenge. Have any of you lemonade. actually tried that? Is that anything like lemonade? Um, I don't feel like dying. Or is the pepper challenge? It's a little no, the, uh, the cinnamon sour challenge. than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. And I might have done the pepper challenge before. I kind of like it, though. No, the, the pepper challenge is a joke. <laughs> not if you're used... It's cayenne. Not if you're not used cayenne? to um, spicy stuff. Cayenne is oh, 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 like, like chili pepper challenge. Okay. Okay, so we got pepper, chili, and I can't remember the other one. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. MS Jade! M. S. This letter might come in handy. G. Hey, we found the almighty yo yo. Okay, so we have, we have the MS Jade. I think, yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait and see what we actually need for the spice. Nah. Okay, so I still don't know what the plywood is for yet. So we're gonna head back now. We're gonna head back to the other screens. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. Oh, I no. traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica, the apple of my. I traded away my monica for a ratty old bow tie. And I believe this is death number You traded your harmonica two? for a bow tie? Oops. Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Which, um, which, which boss are you? Oh, is this uh, Hecron? Um, I guess I'm in Hecron Cave. Yeah, that's Hecron. Hecron, uh, Hecron gives lots of people issues. You're, you're not the first. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, Yeah, square. the big thing with Hecron is he's the first ours. boss that we has, like, a legitimate, uh, counterattack mechanic. Seven feet ought to do it. Oh it's shoot! It's a Hold shame up. it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plans. Yeah, yeah. You know, the coffee might not have spilled on the plans if someone hadn't filled my cup so full. Well, maybe someone should use a bigger cup. I might use a bigger cup if someone made better coffee. Huh? You know. We might have better coffee if someone <laughs> chipped into the coffee fund more than, say, once a year. 
We might get yeah. raises if someone didn't cut round squares when we needed square squares. This isn't getting us anywhere. All right. Let's just well, get some more wood and make another floor. Maybe we should take another coffee break I first. I am going to call it. I am extremely tired. All right, I man. hate how tired Maybe I'm getting. Maybe we could get them to change so it from early. a square dance to a circle dance. But, you mean like the you know, hokey pokey or something? Sure. I doubt it. Yep. People around here mm -hmm. are yeah, everybody here kind right. of zone, so. These yeah. plans say yeah. they need a piece of wood. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I seven used to be able to. I, I, I used to be able to, to stay up until about one to two a.m. Usually without an issue. Yeah, yeah well, so yeah. we so could we all, but back in college. <laughs> yeah. This should be Something useful. Like that. <laughs> I mean, I could still do it. Oh well, hold on, hold on, you know, hold on. I would sleep until about noon. Where did that fish shove that seven by seven piece of plywood? <clears throat> you don't want to know. <laughs> okay, Carol. Did you ever play uh, the Queen Quick series Space Stop. Quest? Uh, I, I do know the I series, know but, the I series but I haven't played it. Played it. I'll show you those fish it. some free And deliver it right away. <laughs> it's urgent. <laughs> yes, sir. Because it does explain, I believe, at least one of the, uh, uh, oh. the Space Quest series. Oh, hi, the kids. main, main character, Roger Wilco, has a pocket with an extra dimension of space in it. Ah, uh, right. I, I think, don't think the I need that extra right dimensional now. space pocket is here. Can you uh, use this piece of wood for your kind floor? Kind of standard Say, in that looks various about point right. adventures. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We no, no, uh, welcome. no, um, knock up, buzzard, fuzzy. <laughs> that that was not you. That was for knock. My, my sense of humor didn't evolve that of a 11 year old crazy yes and show. <laughs> Hammerhead just got suplexed. <laughs> Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. More coffee. Well, I'm glad I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm not doing Now that your floor is buzzer. finished. Do you and think we note, can borrow the night, screwdriver folks. for the <laughs> Alright, good night, Will. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. I got a screwdriver. Uh, how do those fish drink anything underwater? We don't ask these questions. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow ma me to introduce myself. My name is how, Gil how do Parker, the and I represent the Biloxi Drinks in their cups also stay hot. Company, third well, largest underwater. distributor of bubble gum. Hey, they never Wheel said it was hot coffee. Western Hemisphere. Well, I'm just assuming so because they've got little safety this. coffins this taped around the top Luther. of the cups. That just shows that they're construction my workers. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Parker, Whoop. will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my what? two fine products are you I interested in I thought Freddy was today? a dude. The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts. Sounds like a dude's name. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Take a ball. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Just, just very take good. a ball. Let's see. That leaves only. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have <laughs> it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. 
And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. Oh, Freddy one. is female. We here huh. at Biloxi. Hey, Salty, how you doing? We are not. Crap. This one looks good. Okay, I think it was a square. Thank you. I can't remember. No, the thank my you. Let's buy You're another walnut. I don't think we need one. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. Dude, so I'm not even on the bike, you right idiot. Or if you like, Do it. I can start a gum no. layaway plan for you. How can I? I'm, I'm, I'm not on my bike. Balance. That's fair. All right, yeah, number nine. Balance yourself. Use your core strength and balance on the back of your chair. the pack of gum. Splendid. Dude, salty. Splendid. Horrible timing, buddy. What do you mean? <laughs> Here you go. It's my it's last a pack. Maybe Everybody even the last down. pack in the entire <laughs> hemisphere. Everybody we down. We're all being assaulted by the most nasally person on the internet. How dare you call Stephen Hawking a nasal? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady I take it Shark that was the best one I ever clams. used. My bad. <laughs> Pay up. Hey, 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 hey. What's we can't it? all be winners, Salty. Oh, that's, uh, oh. that's nothing. It's a poem oh. I was writing. Hey, hey, I did not follow it up with if you ain't first, you're last. That's an awfully strange poem. And if you ain't last, that doesn't mean you're first either. <laughs> Good evening. What are you talking about? I was high when I said that. <laughs> you got the twenty clams, you owe me, Gil. Uh, not exactly. I, I was How quoting Talladega Nights. Exactly. I know. I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know. My dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, Yikes. it is. It's real good. <sighs> Would you like a piece of gum? No, thanks. I can't chew gum. It kills the hives. That's too bad. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. I should have gotten the pepper. Okay. Um, okay, so it wasn't, wasn't back through there. We're gonna dye that purple. It's just not right. You're not right. Mmm. That's delicious. nicer now all right so we got the purple hat so that's what we need to get into the bandit territory okay we still have a couple more things we need to take care of here. what what kind of band banditos are these people who wear purple hats i they wear purple hats but um they are um they uh they stole freddy's cousin's uh Pig fish. Do they wear red dresses too? Uh, not that I know of. 
Mm. Okay. Did, okay. Did they did they rape the horses and ride off the horses? The right shape to fit in the wheel. Well, we'll they attempted to, but but they didn't they didn't get very far. Okay, so it was the wrong nut. Dang it. That's a tough nut to crack, I tell you that much. We gotta backtrack if you a thought bit. that pun was funny, was funny. Talk to your psychiatrist. You're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will show myself. Yeah, that that that's what I thought. Can we exchange this nut for a different one? Certainly. Here at Biloxi Premium, we're in the business of serving our customers. And ten percent interest. You can select. This one looks yes. good. Yoink. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another walnut. I don't think we need one. <laughs> the guy's like, please, I need more. see that cowboy fish and I'm like, does he have diabetes? He has the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> diabetes. He has we the diabetes. It. It's fixed, and it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spooks <laughs> in something awful. What's he got against glue? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't age well, did it? <laughs> My packet day at last. Mr. Tippett. Do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. I went to Hermit in peace. Thank you. It's Oscar's underwater cousin. <laughs> Instead of a trash can, he's in a mailbox. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's just that little fish bitten game. Each of these Freddy Fish games, they have like a little silly mini game. This one's got like an asteroid style mini game. It doesn't it doesn't do anything. It's just a time waster. Okay, so I do need to go back. Okay, so we need to go back through here. I think I need to get pepper. Where'd that pepper come from? A 1980s television? We don't ask these questions. All right, you hog fish, pay attention. <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep heads to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go. <laughs> That looks like me and my daughters. Just go to bed! I will literally do anything for you to simply go to bed. Here, wait. I, I think... That's got it. Okay. All right. I think I have what I need to make the belt buckle. Uh, down that way. There you go. 
Uh, has a member from the scene for the show Major Dad. I actually have never seen that show. I know it exists, but I've never watched it. Okay, so we still need the harmonica in order to get that tie. So I need that tie in order to get into the place. Okay, so now we're back here. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it, and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. <laughs> Throw the switch! My best work! All that's missing is a belt! <laughs> Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please! Call me Nelson. His son's name is Half Nelson. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a hey lot. Hey-oh. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh, wait. Oh. I'm going to need an S. Okay. I need an S in order to get in. I don't... Not, a, not an M. Okay, so we got to go back and get the S. And uh, I gotta get back to the puffer fish. Okay. Okay, so we need to go through here. Ah, oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm going wrong way. No, wait, no. So I've already taken care of that. Because that was how I got the floss earlier. So next, I want to go back to the puffer fish. Gotta remember where the crap that guy is again. Give me one second, guys. Thank you. 
All right, I'm back. Had to, hey. uh, had to get some stuff squared away for uh, state conference tomorrow. Here, try some pepper. Like a join. Hope he's okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh yeah. <laughs> they got a worm doodle. Ah, there's our harmonica. Hey. A harmonica. <laughs> Ew. Is it broken? I think maybe you just it need is some now. lessons. Mm. I actually it's have a legitimate harmonica. Oh, so do I. Yes, a um, someone bought it for me on my mission. Actually, they gave it to me as a Christmas present. All right. Time to find the the blues guy. Gotta give him his harmonica. Gotta give him his harmonica, boy. All right, amigo. Take it. Here. Would you like this harmonica? <gasps> Yoink. What a oh, boy! I tell you what, man, harmonicas are freaking hard to play. It's true. They are absolutely not easy oh, to play with. <laughs> oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange well. with well, my compliments. Well, that's, uh, that's a synthesized <laughs> harmonica. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. My great-grandmother used to be able to play one well. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. Please don't. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea. Are you kidding me? So much work. <laughs> Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Alright, so we're gonna get our belt buckle fixed, and then that should get us everything we need in order to get into the wrestler's hideout. This on our belt buckle instead of the old letter? Sure. Let's have the buckle. <gasps> My best work. All that's missing is a belt. Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. We're all geared up. We have our we have the correct item level in order to infiltrate. That's part of my disguise. Yes, we're going to get dressed right think? in front of the dude. It might be a little big for you, but do I look like a rustler? Oh. That was easy. Huh? That's even better than before. Good. It's about fun. There. Those rustlers <laughs> won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Luther, oh. 
He's nailing that look. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get That's past the That's the first the time you've had a coherent thought since 1939. Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves there, Bob. Uh. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um, sure. Poor Mori. He's having a terrible time with the Mori. hogfish. <laughs> well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! Moron. We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Follow your nose I wherever it goes. Squealing coming Not so from... loud, you mean. Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Is he, uh, notorious? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! That's strange, I didn't know he was a face. What do we do now? Uh, <laughs> Didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely. Knocky, locked. we're gonna say. No, I was just, I was just laughing at your. Hey, uh, it looks like there might be a way out. The all these cannonballs. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. These are heavy. <laughs> there, that does it. All right, where's my banana picker? Oh, there's a scrubber this bubbles portion there. of our show. <laughs> That's what yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> this part of our show brought to you by Scrubber Bubbles. I remember the first time I ever got my hands on one of those cans, I was just hey, like, look, wait a minute. How does, how do these, uh, right. where's We're the bubbles? Where's the little scrubber guys? Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what this does. Don't push the button! And this Luther detonated a nuclear explosion under the ocean, thus dooming <laughs> the entirety of the world. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Never have I heard the same Maybe word heavy in the same scene. This will never reach the bars while the anchor is down. Ah. There's a button. Six I tons. 12,000 pounds or 12 kits. Alright. Here we go. This is a nice. Maybe we can find. The chain won't quite reach the bars. Well, then just hold on, buddy. Maybe we can make it longer. All right, let's see what else we got around here. Ah, KSSO. I think I see something behind this thing. You're yeah, I just right. Espresso? I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Radio. Radio. All planets align with the disco the ball there. Did you hear something? 
Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. <laughs> Oh, oh, that cru that duck is creepy. He's very creepy. Oh, <laughs> no idea what a metric crap ton equals to. <laughs> Look at this neat hook. Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? Most know, things, most things do have a couple different. <laughs> Here, why don't you? Freddy has PTSD. Okay. No, I know. Freddy's like, get that thing away from me! I've had trauma in my childhood. There was a little pink ball attached to, in the floating in the ocean, and it was a hook. We attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. No. I bet it will. Okay, now how did he just hook that on? Okay, I highly doubt that. Oh, wow. Yeah, there. Being a structural engineer, there is no this way in all F that should work. Prepare to drop no. anchor. <laughs> it's like, look at how thick that ready, chain is ready. compared to the hook. Fire away. I know that's uh, <laughs> what? No, come back. No, come back. Please come back. We're going home. The food's terrible here. They gave so you lying now, cake. I think you two give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. Mighty I'll be fine taking work. Them off the jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the Ruckling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. Dun, dun, dun! <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Oh, good lord. Who would it be? I think that's the obvious choice. It's not him. Or, or, or is it? I think Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes. We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for Oops. one licorice-flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker yeah, isn't Mr. Big? Yeah, No, he isn't. But that was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks! Well, if it's not Gil Barker, then which one of us is it? I think... It's the granny. It's the granny. <laughs> Maybe oh, it was no. squid. It's always They're the one you suspect They're all pretty suspicious looking. Nonsense. We squids would never take so something words, that butler. didn't belong to us. <laughs> I raised these boys up right. That's right, she did. Yipper. I'm sure you did. Yipper. No, it's not any of the squids. Oh, well then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? 
All right, we'll try harmonica, dude. Mr. Big must it seems like we can just keep clicking, limb. so let's just I'm have some sure fun. You, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yeah, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim under sea marshal. <gasps> <gasps> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the you don't undersea seem to expect a lot of things. <coughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know rustling. Just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? But yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B flat, but really, it's an A flat. Big difference. <laughs> Sheriff or construction workers? Let's go with the let's go with the snail. Was it you? The male snail. Say no. No, it wasn't him. He would have been stuck <laughs> with his broken wagon when it all happened, remember? Oh yeah. Well, who then? <laughs> let's accuse his Is aunt. It cousin Calico? She could have arranged to wrestle her own hogfish. Why would she want to do that? Um, for insurance money? I haven't got any wrestling insurance. <laughs> oh, who is Mr. Big? <laughs> insurance money? All right, we're left with... Okay. Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, Here we go. Mm -hmm. It was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying for I'm bacon? Fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um. So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <gasps> <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You are Well, he's better at be being a shame. criminal than uh, Joe just Biden is. You take things that don't uh, belong to you. Hey oh other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. And he would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling fish we kids. We want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. <laughs> Freddy, Luther, I can't hey. thank you enough for all you've done. Hey. The hogfish are home. I like safe. how you and Ember are accusing 80% of the rest of the town to steal caves. I know, right? <laughs> How's their immunity service working out? Well, that's community service, son. Oh, yeah. I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll squeal, be real boy, squeal. Squeal like a pig. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers too? Of course. Here, I've got some. Sure got a pretty mouth. <laughs> Ten gallon hats. Yours is a five gallon. So it'll fit just right. Hey yo. Oh boy! <laughs> Dang it, that had to show up. Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Yippee ki yay! Give me a home where the buffalo oh, no. roll, hey. where the deer and the antelope play. That's the game. <laughs> That's the game. Wow, that's a pretty short game. <laughs> well, I agree. 
Yeah, these are these are never meant to be very long games. These are literally meant for children. <laughs> Do you really want to restart the game? I see. Do you really want to quit? Yep. Yeah, yeah. No. So, okay. So, Humongous Entertainment is an offshoot of Ron Gilbert. Um, he was uh, responsible for... Um, he he worked at LucasArts for a very long time. Well, I don't know how long, but um, he is responsible for um, the uh, Monkey Island games. Um, he also created Double Fine Productions that created Psychonauts, um, amongst other other games. Um, so uh, so after uh, Ron Gilbert left, um, after he left uh, LucasArts, he decided to create Humongous Entertainment, and Humongous Entertainment created Freddy Fish, Putt Putt, uh, Spy Fox, um, amongst others. So he was still really involved in the point and click industry, um, but uh, but yeah. So um, yeah, Ron Gilbert's also involved in Thimbleweed Park which is a pixelated uh, point-and-click adventure that came out roughly five-ish years ago. Um, but yeah, so hmm. so these so these series, the Freddy Fish, Spy Fox, all those games, they are very short games. They were all meant to be literally played by kids my daughter's age to get them, to get them into problem-solving, uh, point-and-click, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, understands the look. <laughs> So yeah, so so there's a uh, there's one of the Freddy Fish games for uh, Rando Saturday on a Friday. Um, so reason why we did that tonight was because um, I have a state conference tomorrow night from seven o'clock until nine o'clock at night. Um, so there's just no way I'm going to be able to get back and stream before that time. So I decided to get it done a little early this week. Um, so yes, yeah. so this will be the actual final stream for the week. Um, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Um, so, uh, yep. And I am going to wrap it up for tonight. Just going to probably go inside, play some, uh, play some Tales of Arise and hit the sack. So, uh, Operator, uh, Knock and Salty, thank you very much for hanging out and chat tonight. Of course. Happy to be here. And uh, big thanks to Will for actually being able to hang out and chat a little bit. Um, he has, uh, you know, with, with everything that's been going on lately, it's a little tough for the Amigo to stay up at night. Which, hey, you know what? He's on the East Coast time. I totally understand. I'm totally fine. So anyway, um, I will see you all on Monday. Uh, there's a good chance I might be out here on Sunday night playing something. So um, I'll be in voice chat if I am. So if you're, if you're up and you're here... Feel free to join the voice chat. Just hang out, whatever. So uh, probably Borderlands 3 on Monday. That's probably what we'll be playing. So until then, my friends, thank you all so much for tuning in. And until later, good night, Isaiah Norris. Wherever you are. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.